Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Kiel Dyken. Just wanted to give you an important update regarding the PlayStation 3 emulation RPC3 uh, for RetroPie using Supreme Ultra Base. Uh, we also have some major improvements with Wii. I do have a special uh, something for you guys, especially for you supporters, hopefully before the end of the month. But today I just wanted to provide a quick update for the PlayStation 3 integration using the gaming front end uh, interface. So as you guys know, uh, the other night, myself, the Supreme team, were working really hard. Uh, we found out that the original script, uh, which has been made public, by the way, uh, is currently available. If the people in the community want to help out, kind of get help get it working, whatever the case might be, you know, so be it. But uh, for the most part, the uh, script that we do have has been fully improved. As you guys can see, we have it fully working here. Uh, but uh, this process is going to take about another two or three months. The reason being is I still have some fine tuning on PlayStation 2 emulation that I need to do. And then also I've gotten most of the Wii games running at full speed, which you guys will see here in the next few days. But for the most part, uh, we're still tinkering around with this stuff. And, you know, it is surprising that we still have uh, people making videos and releasing stuff when they haven't gotten the, uh, the rudimentary levels of emulation working with some of these uh, lower end emulators but nevertheless i uh, just want to give you guys a, a quick important update so playstation 3 is fully integrated we're having some issues with it uh some of those issues are being like once you start the game and then exit out sometimes it doesn't fully let you out of the game uh, also you can't navigate fully or at least the issue that i'm also having is you can't fully navigate using a controller you also have to use your keypad now unlike the playstation 2 emulation you have the ether and you have ether direct which allows you to use your keyboard or you can fully use your controller to fully navigate around so uh i've never tinkered around too much with playstation 3 emulation when i've used it on my pc uh, you just pretty much rely on the PC, powerful video card, powerful processor, and you pretty much run it that way. So this is going to require a lot of time, tinkering, and understanding. You know, many of us do not even fully have Wii working, as I've said earlier. Do not have PlayStation 2 or the rudimentary levels and understanding of how that even works. And then now we're going to jump over to PlayStation 3. So it's going to take, at least me, maybe some of the other guys I know, two to three months to fully get this uh, down pat. Uh, also, it's only displaying in carbon right now. So if I was using another, let's see if I got another one here. Uh, let's do configure settings. No, it's UI settings. So let's say, for example, if I changed it to Epic Noir, another theme, it probably not even going to see uh, this particular emul uh, emulator. So we have to also uh, develop some themes that will allow us to fully use it. In fact, maybe some of the ones from Retrobat. Uh, may work. I think I have some other ones too that might work. But again, we got to get some themes in here that also will recognize uh, that particular emulator because as you can see, the other uh, systems are being recognized here. So we got to get some themes in here with the required artwork that will allow us uh, to see the PlayStation 3 emulation. So let's go ahead and just kind of boot it up. I want to walk you guys through it. As you can see, is it is launching. Obviously, most people's launching is directly from your desktop, but there were issues using this, uh, using this from a gaming front end perspective. I can't speak for Batacera or Recall Box. I know those two developing front ends don't even have uh, Wii fully working in terms of the settings and everything that you can also access. And definitely, uh, they removed PlayStation Two or even tried to remove it entirely. So uh, there were some issues with this. And so as you can see, I got a few things loaded here. I'll just kind of walk you through some of the settings, which is going to take me at least two months to really kind of narrow this down. Uh, there are a lot of settings in here that are very uh, familiar with PC, but for the most part, when we've used this, we've always just used a PC and said, well, we'll let the PC do it, you know, do the work. So it's going to take some time and understanding uh, to figure out how uh, to, uh, to get this working. So uh, for the most part, I've had a couple of games launch directly on this. I've had instances where it did work, but um, I'll show you guys here in just a second. But sometimes uh, there is a special, from my understanding, there's a special ROM set uh, that it takes where it has a pre-compiled shaders and all of the assets that'll get it to launch and launch correctly without it locking up or freezing. So uh, you got your game pad and configs here. I haven't really messed around with any of this. Most of this is defaulted to how the script was working, what the RPC3 uh, team did provide. Uh, we have our gamepad settings here. I have my Xbox controller already 
fully set up with this SDL. That was no issue. That was really easy. As you can see, there's the joysticks down there kind of moving at the bottom uh, as they should be. So that was no problem as well. But some of these games here have had some issues uh, where they say they compile and then they kind of lock up uh, at the main screen. So I'll just launch one here just so you guys can see it. And then the other issue was is when you launch it and then you get out of it, trying to go back in here, uh, it's kind of difficult to exit the emulator itself. So uh, those are just some of the things that were working out. Uh, again, this is a brand new emulator. Um, I had my questions of whether it would work or not several months ago. I wanted to, you know, to kind of uh, try it out. And uh, for the most part, you know, at least we have it here now. So I've gotten this far here with Soul Calibur. You get this screen. I think I'll get the next screen that'll say Havoc. And then it just kind of freezes up on me. I'm not really able to get past that point right now. So, oh, looks like it's working now. Interesting. I don't think I got past that screen. So let's see what happens. All right, so it's going to lock up there. So I've gotten a little bit further, uh, you know, than normal than what I've gotten before. And then typically I have to exit out of this using alternate F4. So I uh, just wanted to give you an updated status because I think some of you uh, were probably hoping for a video review or something of this nature. We have a ton of other projects that we really need to complete. Again, we better emulation with PlayStation 2. Again, we're still trying to even figure that out. Now we got PlayStation 3, which is pretty fun and pretty exciting. So uh, we do have it booted up on a gaming front end. You guys know I don't do any of that stuff from desktop uh, anymore because it's not even a true working scenario. So as soon as I get everything figured out, as, uh, as well, a few of us get it figured out, uh, we'll pay it past that information along. Those of you who are on my Patreon, you guys will be the first ones to know uh, when there is an update. But this is a brand new script because the previous one that I've had uh, that I was working with, let's just go ahead and Alt F4 out of this. Give me a second here. Let's go ahead and exit out. So the previous script that I had, for whatever reason, uh, initially it broke. RetroPie, it broke Supreme Ultra, so we had problems with that. And then I think it started giving me this boot error. So this was the original script here. I'll probably just go ahead and delete it uh, for the most part. So uh, we have to make sure it can be perfectly integrated into our system. Same with possibly Batacera, Recall Box. It's not just the fact of, you know, hey, the RPC3 team got it working on desktop or whatever it is they were running. You got to get it working with the front end itself to make sure it doesn't cause any other issues, configurations to see if their settings that they had initially, uh, is that going to be applied to the, uh, to this, you know, this front end. So, uh, this was the initial error that I had. This is what the older script is showing you that after I made it from some changes, whatever the case might be, this is something that happened. Not a big issue. We don't have to worry about it anymore, but I'm just showing you guys the process of things that I go through. Uh, while testing. So uh, again, as soon as I get some more information, let's give this another two, maybe three months. Maybe we'll get this thing dialed in. Um, if you guys are familiar with some of the work that I've done in the past, when I first started working with the PlayStation 2 emulator on the Orange Pi 5 last year, it took me about four, four and a half, maybe five months uh, to really get that down pat. And there's, there's still, you know, certain things about it that I'm learning myself. But, you know, we had downtime. We didn't have the Pi 5. We only had the Orange Pi 5 and I was playing around with that thing every freaking day when I got a chance. Wasn't playing Xbox, wasn't really video editing, uh, was just really getting in there, just really knowing. Because how can we truly tell you if something really works or not if we don't understand how it's supposed to work on the board itself? If we don't know, we can't just blame you know, the, the emulator or the front end and say, well, we're just waiting for more development. No, if it, if it has to do with a lack of our understanding, uh, we can't put out a proper review if we don't know uh, how something is supposed to work. So that is the process that we're in right now. Please don't let this be indicative of a final result. This is a work in progress to make sure we can get it in here perfectly working. You guys probably haven't even seen this thing on a game in front end yet. So there it is. It's there. Uh, and again, I'm not too familiar with the whole PlayStation 3 architecture and file structure. So I don't play around with it too much. And when I do, I just drop the ROMs in where they need to go and it, it does its thing. So Unlike some of the other emulators like Dolphin, uh, Ether SFX2, uh, what was it, CMU, which is the Wii U emulator, 
this was a little bit more challenging because of all the shaders and other stuff that it needs to update in the firmware and everything like everything in that case so uh again guys thank you for being patient please like and subscribe share the video just wanted to put out this quick and important update for you just let you know what's going on with it and give you an estimated time frame as to when you should really 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 uh expect this i mean who knows maybe it could be a month but you know christmas is coming up we got new years uh a lot of people you know myself we got things going on but two to three months uh tops to really have this thing uh, dialed in. Um, I do have some new ROMs and ROM packs that uh, I'm working on to get this thing, you know, to kind of test, but that's pretty much the expectation. So you guys have a great night. Let me know what your thoughts are below. Uh, also, make sure you sub uh, join uh, several of the Facebook groups that I run. All the links are in the video description of this video as to where you could find uh, most of us and the guys who truly test this stuff and some of the other devs uh, that are really working um, on these particular projects. So guys have a great night. I will catch you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.